hi guys welcome to our channel and to our vlog this is our first vlog um, been meaning to do this for a while um, haven't got around to it been a couple of years where we've been thinking about starting a vlog and just been inspired to do that but um, yeah just life and just I guess being a bit scared to start <laughs> just just I don't know but it's the starting yeah it's yeah, the starting, it's starting. Um, but yeah, so 2021, we said, right, let's do this. Um, let's vlog and just share our lives. We're pastors of a church in Ashford, uh, in Kent, in the UK, Fountain Church, a great church. We say names. I don't think we say My name is Peter. This is my lovely wife, Vivian. Hi. So we're parents to two lovely boys, Levi and Micah. Um, they are eight? Yeah. Levi is eight, yeah. eight, eight and six. Um, so <laughs> we've got wonderful, just amazing boys, and they were excited about this because they um, they love. But well, they've got their own channel. Yeah, this is their like, they've thing. They've done YouTube before us. Yeah. They've got their own channel, yeah. Levi and Michael. You need to do it. You need to do it. So yep. yeah, yeah. Bye bye, children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And here we are. In this channel, um, we're gonna be sharing about faith, parenting, um, relationship, mm -hmm. health talk about finance, talk about business, um, and just hopefully share the love of Christ with you guys. And fashion. <laughs> yeah, Vivian's gonna lifestyle. talk to you about fashion and lifestyle. <laughs> she loves interior design and, um, and fashion. I think she got fashion from me when we got married. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Yeah? When, when we got married, her fashion game stepped up a notch. Yeah, mm -hmm. it could have been another one of my professions, a fashion designer. Yeah, so yeah, enjoy <laughs> yourself. <laughs> we hope to be releasing a vlog every week. Yeah, every do week. Them weekly. And when we get used to it, we may go bi weekly, but at the, at the, at the moment, we just do weekly. Mm. Um, yeah, so subscribe. Um, share, get somebody to subscribe, tell them there's an awesome, awesome new YouTube channel mm -hmm. and that they'll be missing out if they don't subscribe. Yeah. And press the notification bell. bell. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning everyone. This is Sunday, the 7th of March and we are about to go to church. Actually, these guys are about to drop me off to church and then they're going to come hello. up a bit later. Say hello to everyone. Hello! Yeah. <laughs> So, yep, this is it, the beginning of our family vlog. And um, yeah, we're just about to head to church. So, yeah. Hey guys, welcome to Fountain Church. This is my church. Um, so in the mornings, every Sunday morning, the worship team and the tech team, they all meet together at 8. 15 in the morning and they begin with prayer they pray for almost an hour um, it's a lovely time I try and make sure that I'm here for as much as um, I'm here for as much of this as possible um, before I was pastor of this church I was the worship leader of this church so this is something that I used to do and I used to love every moment of this um, yeah it's a great time and then you will have good success we want the word of god that is preached this morning to be rooted into people's hearts that they will meditate on it day and night that they will not just watch it and forget it so we're going to shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge my fortress my god in him i will trust I've only started, I've only started driving, I've, um, I'm experienced, I would say I'm fairly experienced, um, I would say I've got like a good 20 years, 10 years of experience playing games and everything. Are you prepared to go in the desert? If you are not prepared, you are not going to stay. Because you are a man, you are part of the general. Hi. Hi. Who is this? Hello. Is it Melissa? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey Nudge, you alright? Good, good to see you! I'm taking videos, yes! Good to see you! <laughs> so 
Why are you not doing TikTok? I'm saying too old for this man. Manio, go and do TikTok. Yes, my knees, man. <laughs> so we just finished Sunday service and we're heading home now with Levi and Micah. Yeah. How was the Sunday service? It was great. Micah, how was Sunday service? Good. Come on, be a bit more excited than that. Good. Come on. Hey, how good? I'm really good. <laughs> good. Come on, mommy. Oh, mommy. Mommy, aren't you coming? Bye. See you later, Auntie Nadesh. Hey, guys. Hi, mommy. Hi, Bob. Hello. We're just checking what's good about the service. Did you enjoy the service? Yeah, but I was babysitting. We found the painting kind of, more like our fun playground. But you were there for prison worship, weren't you? Yeah, oh yeah, the prison worship yeah. um, time. That was really lovely. And um, yeah, and then the boys, I had a wonderful time with the boys at the reception and their cousins. So, so what's the plan for today? Then? Plan for today, for today boys, we need to get you ready for tomorrow. Yeah. For school. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow and is going to be the. Yeah. So, here with my boys, Levi and Micah, we're going back to school tomorrow after a few months of lockdown. Yeah. Levi is in year three, Micah is in year two. How do you boys feel about going back to school? Very, very excited. excited. It's been a long time since I've been seeing my friends. It's yeah. been so long I can't even remember all of their names. Did you not like being at home, homeschooling? Uh, homeschooling is it was equal exciting good. as um, at school schooling. What's the difference? There's, there's no difference. The difference All the, the, differences. No, the difference is just um, homeschooling. We do it like on online. Have you guys been working hard like you would in school? Yeah. Yeah. Remember we had a problem because you would start your work at nine, and then at half past nine you would come, Daddy, I'm finished. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Right. <laughs> we had a problem. I had to tell you about diligence. Yeah, that and I was saying to you, and what happened when you were finishing your work too quickly? Uh, then we'll be bored. No, you are making a lot of mistakes. Yeah? So we learned one thing in lockdown about diligence, didn't we? Yeah. What is diligence? Diligence is when you have to take it real responsible and like take your time but also do it properly. So diligence is when you do your work slowly and check your answers first. Yeah. And you read the question, like you don't rush the question and stop and don't, don't look at it and then just type the answer when it's actually wrong. You have to read the question first. And you also have to read what your teachers and put diligently for you. and diligently you have to slowly think about it and then you write the answer down. Yeah, it takes me about seven hours to do my schoolwork if I'm in school. They say that um, we need to take our time because if we're just done with all of our homework only in two hours, then we wouldn't even know what to do. What do you prefer about homeschooling than school schooling? I don't More know. computer stuff than we used to do in school. We used to do um, like computing in school for about at least every week, once a week. Uh, but <laughs> since homeschooling is here, I, I have to do it like every day. So you prefer school. that? You prefer working on a computer? Uh, using your body to do stuff. I think school, like school schooling is better. Okay, how about you? Do you prefer, what, what do you prefer about homeschooling? I prefer about um, homeschooling is that um, we use much more like electricity than normal. How is that a good thing? <laughs> oh yeah. That's, That's not good it. for the planet, is it? Oh yeah. But having said that, if you are in school, they will still be using electricity, won't they? Yeah. I tell you what I loved about homeschooling. Yeah. I loved the fact that you two boys were around the whole day, so I, I saw a lot more of you. And another thing I loved about this period is mummy's not working from home. 
It's really nice to see her all the time. Yeah. Isn't it? Another thing I enjoyed about this time is not traveling so much. Yeah. Are you guys not happy that I'm around more? Mm, I'm happy that you're around yeah. so we can and spend besides, time. Besides, and, and besides, um, I don't like traveling with, with, in car, traveling in cars is bad for the environment. Global warming. Why? Uh, 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 Don't worry. Oh. The boys are getting back to school tomorrow ah. and you can see the excitement in their faces, Micah. Excited? Yeah. Good to see your friends. Yeah? I'm excited. You're excited. We are excited. I'm excited. Yes. It's Monday morning, um, it's 5 a.m. I uh, just woke up and beginning my day. I begin by uh, spending some time in prayer and uh, preparing for prayers that I have at 6 a.m. on Facebook Live. Here we go. So just cue up some music. And we're live. Good morning, Bishop. Good morning. Good morning, good morning to the Chidanguro family. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor Rose. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning. We give thanks for another wonderful morning in the presence of God. We're thanking Him for life. We're thanking Him for his wonderful, wonderful grace and mercy. Sister Selena, good morning. Mr. Jolis, good morning. Good morning to you. God of Abraham, yeah. you're the God of covenant, and faithful promises. Great is your faithfulness to me. chapter 17 verse 5 the disciples were with Jesus and he was speaking to them and they say to him they say to him Lord increase our faith so just done with prayers this morning good morning look at this sleepy head just woke up did you how do you feel are you excited? Good morning. Good morning. First day of school. First yeah. day of school. How was your sleep? Great. Great, great. Yeah? You didn't manage to wake up for prayers. Are you praying with mommy? Yeah. Okay. And I, and I was able to cast it onto the TV. Oh, you cast onto the TV? Oh, brilliant. You ready for school? Go football. Ready. Go football, Dad. You go football. You got your football stuff. 
Yeah. Um, guys, here. I need to go right now. You can't wait to go? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, 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 yeah. All right, so my little boys just came from school. Hey guys, it was great. How was it? Levi, how was school? It was awesome. And Micah just had football as well, didn't you? Uh, my team lost. Your team lost? Yeah. How come? Thankful to God. Everything is good. They seem happy. They seem excited to be back in school. Um, yeah, man, parenting is something else. Like, it's just one of those things where... You want the best for your kids, don't you? You want the best for your kids, you want them to have the best experience. But the difficulty is you can't be there. You cannot be there in the school. You can't be in the school to to protect them, to help them, to help them. And uh, one thing I'm, I'm grateful for, my boys, they're close in age. They're uh, just over a year, just under two years in age difference, but they're actually one year apart in school. So they've been together, they play together. They're the same size, pretty much. Um, they've been playing together through, throughout this whole lockdown, so they haven't really been lonely. But I feel for the kids who are an only child in the home or, or who have a huge gap in age with their siblings, I do fear that many kids are going to go back to school with um, you know, issues and, and stuff that they have to deal with. I hope the schools are equipped. And I really fear that this has had an effect on all the kids. Um, yeah, it's one of the things that I'm always speaking to the church, to Fountain Church about, to continually pray for the kids, especially those who are vulnerable, those who have been affected negatively by this time of lockdown. So yeah, it's um, uh, quarter past four in the afternoon. We've got a couple of meetings and I have a men's fellowship men's fellowship on at 6 30 every monday wonderful wonderful time it's the bridge we call our men fellowship the bridge wonderful wonderful fellowship um if you are watching this and you want to be part of a fellowship of guys we have guys from the age of 18 all the way to the age of 50 something 60s and we all meet together and just have banter it's an informal fellowship but it's great we call it the bridge because it's like we are trying to bridge knowledge between the older men or let me say the, the more mature men and the younger men and we've got a real good thing going on there why did i write gives you a sense of purpose. so monday evening um i'm in the fellowship the the men's fellowship the bridge and um i've just muted myself a little bit let me turn the camera so here we are here's my setup there we are so I'm not going to vlog the men fellowship because it's men only, it's men only zone. If I vlog it, I don't want any of you ladies to come in and see what secrets we discuss as men. <laughs> but yeah, um, a great, great time of fellowship come through. Gosh, Peter, what are you doing? Okay. Look at him. Can you see him? Can you see him? So now just uh, my wife there talking to my sister over in America, having a little chin wag. Yeah, Peter, like it's in my face. Hello. Can we say hello, Gloria? We can't. <laughs> She's not on the camera. Say hello. <laughs> just say hello to my subscribers, Gloria. Go on. <laughs> Good morning. So it's Tuesday morning. Uh, beginning my day again. Um, just another early morning beginning with prayer, probably in an hour, begin prayers, um, uh, morning prayers that I have on Facebook. Hope you have a blessed day today. Um, well, obviously when you're watching this, it won't be Tuesday morning, so hope you had a blessed day. But even today, when you're watching it, I hope that you're having a blessed day and continue to just have a blessed week. Um, okay, so it's Tuesday morning. Kids are getting ready for school. Mummy is getting ready for work. Mm -hmm. Mummy looking beautiful as usual. Say hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys. Are you ready for school? Yeah. Bye bye, mommy. See ya. See ya. See ya. Here, yeah, how's your day been? It's been great. How great? Awesome. 100% Awesomeness. Yeah. How about you? 
That's hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, little people. How was your day? It was great. Aww. Very great. What did you do today? Well, our topic was about Christianity. Oh, um, I was topic. learning. I was learning from Great Park London. I think I'm doing Christianity um, tomorrow. We had to. We had to retell about the Last Supper. It's so funny. This this little boy came up to Levi when we were waiting for Mark. He's like, Levi, you're really good at Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. All right, guys. I need to go back to work. All right, guys. So it's um Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening. Yeah. We're going to have a little family workout session. Got the boys, got Vivian. Vivian just finished work. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's be a bit more excited about physical workout. Yeah, we're excited. Mental workout. I need yeah, rest. Yeah, 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 we got this workout. No. So, has, it, has everyone stretched? Wednesday morning um, I've just been called by Levi's school to go and pick him up they're saying that he's coughing obviously they're saying that that's one of the symptoms of the virus so I had to go and pick him up and his brother as well so now I need to book a <coughs> corona um, test I don't think it's that I think it's just that you are playing outside weren't you over yeah, the weekend it's just, no it was just that I was playing outside and yeah, that was quite like a cold air. Okay, so we need to do a test and then he's not allowed to go back to school until he gets the test results. So hopefully we can get that done as quickly as possible. You're a bit upset because you, you can't play football today. It was your first day back at football, isn't it? But I'm saying to him, it's okay, these things, they happen, right? Yeah. Yeah, it happens. You play football and maybe we can even play our own football in the garden, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... It's, it's gonna be all right. So thankfully, we just literally booked for a test, and we've just got a test. A coronavirus. Test. It's time for my test. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do this test. Whoa. Wait, it's too fast, isn't it? Right. So this is what we put it in after we do it. Um, alcohol hand sanitizer. Yeah. Yeah. Up your nostrils or back your throat? Chill. No, out. no, I'm feeling out. Do I need to feel the back of this? No, no, no. No? no? Okay. So oh, that, that's enough. That. And then I put this in the bag, yeah? <laughs> oh, I keep this. All right, okay. Um, uh, uh. So he's not doing the test. <sighs> so, okay. Hang on. So use that on him and then put it in there. 
It's time for the test. I don't think it's the bleeding test. It's time for the test. The test, the test, the test. What is it? Oh boy, just once a complete. Oh, snap in and close it. Gosh, it's like rocket science. What is going on? Levi just had done his test, so now we just have to wait. They say the two to three days for a result. And obviously we hope and we pray that the result is fine. But even whatever the case, Levi is fine. You're fine, aren't you? Yeah, yeah God is with us. God is protecting us. There is nothing to worry about. The only problem is that obviously he can't go to school and Micah can't go to school for a few days, which is a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Yeah. yeah? So now what should we do? Should we have a cheeky McDonald's? Uh, yeah, go for lunch. Yeah. McDonald's. A bit unhealthy, I'm afraid, but it is what it is. Wait, Camp Cretaceous? Did you just say Camp Cretaceous is yes. on now? Yes. Camp Cretaceous is on. Very rarely that we come to McDonald's because it's unhealthy, Once isn't it? Once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah, once in a while. Because it's unhealthy and it's not something that you should eat all the time. Yeah, but It's just that obviously today, you know, you're a bit naffed that you have to come off school. What about two little bits? So maybe let's have a little treat. How much? Yeah. We're watching Asheville. Me and the boys, this is one of the things that we do, isn't it? Uh -huh. We watch this um, guy called Daniel, and he's got a channel called Asheville on YouTube. Uh, and every week we watch an episode. What does he do? Construction. Also engineering. Engineering. And why we watch it is because Micah said that he wants to do what when he's older? Micah wants to be an engineer when he's older. Inventor. An inventor. So like maybe electronics, mechanical mm -hmm. stuff. But yeah, so basically, um, I try to show you guys, I try to show them like engineering stuff. We watch stuff about how it's made, isn't it? That's mm -hmm. one of our favorite shows, isn't it? Mm -hmm. How it's well, made. My favorite shows that I get YouTube is the Fixies on YouTube Kids. Fixies on YouTube Kids. But yeah, so we try to watch and, you know, Asheville... He's got a big construction company, it's really interesting. We see big trucks, don't we? Mm -hmm. Trucks and construction and stuff like that, so yep. And don't forget, Shala Lambo's house. <laughs> All right. Gonna do a couple of loads, yeah? I thought Terry's gonna do a couple of loads there, ease the pressure on the day. Obviously not. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that um, vlog. That was our first one. So if you liked any, you know, everything, just click the like button, subscribe, and join us on this journey here in our channel. All right, take care. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I can't. What can I say, my love? Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I can't. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? What can I say, my love? My love. My love. My love. What can I say, my love? My love. My love. What can I say, my love?